on the topic of mouthpieces regarding mouthpiece and reed tip compatibility and the seal test. Steve posted, when I look at my Berg Larson 105 over 2 ebonite mouthpiece on my berry from the beak side, holding it upright with the reed in the rear, I can see that the outside edges of the tip of the mouthpiece, what I call the shoulders, are more tapered than the Lavaz 2.5 reed I'm using, such that I can see that the reed shoulders are sticking out. Is this something to be avoided? My response is yes, it's a great question and quandary. I've always wondered the same thing, plus I've encountered the opposite, reed tips that don't cover a mouthpiece's rail tip edges. You've touched upon one of my pet peeves. The shape of the reed tips should match the shape of the mouthpiece tip and rails. The reason why they should match really all boils down to having a good reed mouthpiece seal. Use this test, it's just known as the seal test. With your mouthpiece in your hand, plug it off with one end, with the butt end, with the palm of your hand. Then suck all the air out of the mouthpiece. If the reed is sealing correctly, it should stick to the rails and the tip for a few seconds. Actually, my personal record is over 20 seconds. If you don't have a seal less than a second, something may be wrong. I have found more sealing problems with mouthpieces that have tips wider than the reed tip shape. But my bottom line is, I have always tried to find a mouthpiece tip shape that mirrors my reed tip shape. Okay, here's the seal test. Plugging off the end, going to suck all the air out. A pretty good seal, three to five seconds. Sealing problems can also occur with reeds that are not absolutely flat on the bottom. Sanding or polishing them a bit can help this. Or if they have a warped mouthpiece table under it. Your best bet is to be sure and check your mouthpiece reed seal often.